Hi, this is Jaya. Now we shall see the summary of Comrades by Nadini Godimer. Now we know that Nadini Godimer is a Nobel Prize winner, Man Booker Prize winner and many more prizes uh, uh, were received by Nadini Godimer. And uh, actually Nadini Godimer was born uh, to Jewish immigrants. And this story Comrades it tells about how human love for mankind will always exist irrespective of any barriers. The story goes like this. Uh, Mrs. Hattie Telford, uh, she is actually the narrator of the story, is a white uh, and um, she is about to leave in her car from a conference which was held in the university and the conference was on people's education. And as she is going towards her car, a group of black youngsters, they are just coming behind her. But uh, Mrs. Uh, Hattie is not scared because uh, that place is a non-racial enclave for learning. And uh, the writer clearly says that uh, this was the time of that apartheid system. Apartheid is where the black people were considered inferior to the white people. And uh, that was not there. So she just keeps uh, going. And uh, this uh, group of people, they come near her and one person, that is his name is uh, Duman, he asks her uh, where she is uh, going, whether she was going to the town. Now this uh, narrator, uh, that is uh, Hattie, is actually going to her home. But she tells them, okay, come into the car, I'll drop you where you want. And uh, these uh, black youngsters uh, are able to be the members of the Youth Congress and they are coming from Harrismith, uh, which is a very far off place from the university and because it is very far away and because they came by a bus they missed even their free lunch which they have to have had and uh, Dumail tells that all of them are very hungry so Mrs. Hattie tells why don't you come to my house I'll give you something to eat and they are so happy to hear this because they never expected this from a white and then afterwards uh, she takes them to her house of course she takes them through the backside straight to the dining room and she gives them coffee sandwiches cold meat and bread she herself offers it though she has a maid the maid is a black person and so she did not want to offend these youngsters so she herself serves the food and they all just keep looking at the food and uh, the narrator asks them what it is and then they're saying we are very hungry we want something like rich in carbohydrates which will give be good for our hunger. And then she goes and gives them apples and bananas which they stack on the plates and they are so happy to eat it. And then afterwards uh, Mrs. Hattie she talks to Dumail and she asks about the schooling. And he says that they are not at school. And he says that many of the youngsters who are in his age group have never been to school for several years. And he says that nowadays school is a place for boycotts and demonstrations. And actually through this character Nadine Godimer uh, tells how young people are um, losing the opportunity for getting education. And they are forced to do illegal activities which of course hinders their education. And he also says that uh, they are very eager to study but they are not allowed to study. Now Mrs. Hattie gets a fear whether these might be the group which is handling an AK-47 instead of books and whether they have kept any explosive under her vehicle or she even wonders whether they might dig holes in the bushes and hide themselves there. Then she realizes that these people are not doing any harm to anyone. In fact, the society is doing harm to them. And so these people are the actual victims and the people who are suffering and uh, they cannot harm others so to divert them the narrator shows an artificial lion by a zimbabwean artist but they don't express anything towards the work of the art or the narrator for them they only need food which will satisfy their hunger and uh, the story ends there and comrades comrades means friendship and why Nadine Gaudemar has named this short story as uh, Comrades is it shows a friendship between a white and the black because that was a time of apartheid system. And in this story, Nadine Gaudemar brings out beautifully how the young ones are spoiled due to this apartheid system. 
and there is a lot of variation among the whites and the blacks that is between the Europeans and the Africans though all of us are human beings so the story ends here but the impact of the story is really great please read the original story like the video share it with your friends and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe thank you